Hey folks, welcome back to yet another video on watercolor. Well, many of you asked me for a voiceover video to get a better understanding of my tutorials. And just cause I always listen to you guys, I brought to you an in-depth replication of my previous watercolor piece. This is my first ever voiceover video on YouTube, so pardon me if you hear any mistakes. Okay, I'm done with the intro. Let's go ahead and dive right on. Okay, first the frame. Then we look for the horizon. Horizon is a line that separates the earth from the sky. We have few options to draw the horizon line. Above middle, below middle, and in the middle. Sorry, not this one. This is boring composition. So sometimes we have a bigger earth and sometimes a bigger sky. And today's choice is a bigger sky. After that comes the most important part. The vanishing point. The point at which receding parallel lines meet. We can put the vanishing point anywhere on the horizon line, even outside the frame. Now select one point and pull straight lines all across the frame. And if the point is outside the frame, same story. Don't even think of drawing a street scene without these perspective lines. People are often scared of the buildings, but trust me, these are just boxes. Guys, a lot of time, energy and money has been taken from my life in the process of making these videos. <coughs> so all my hard work gets wasted if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, let's get back to the sketch. I have seen people struggling with proportions, especially human figures. It's actually easy. Sketch out the door of a building and place a figure besides that door. And from there, we get the eye level. And this is the line where we put all the heads of those figures, no matter where they are standing. Now once we have understood these basics, you look into things in a different way. Therefore, magic starts to happen. So from here, I have to speed up the process. Otherwise, it's gonna be a long video. So grab your coffee, sit back, relax, and make some notes. Here, I'm just trying to copy the original, keeping those perspective lessons in my mind. Notice how the heads are on the same eye level and how these perspective lines helps tremendously while we draw. Obviously, I'm making a mess here with those pencil shadings so that it becomes easier for you to understand. Brushes I use today are Raphael Mop Brush size 0 and Princeton Heritage Round Brush size 8 and obviously my favorite Schmincke. Finally comes the most exciting part of the whole process, coloring. Even though it's considered to be the toughest part of a painting, it's actually the easiest. We just have to feel color in that strong framework we just have sketched. I'll put the colors used in the description box below. Don't forget to take a look. So that was the first layer, moving on to the second which is putting the darks. In this step everything will start making sense, but before that we need to understand how light hits the building and which is the shadow part.
Hey, sorry, man. I was just carried away. I mean to say, if you are not enjoying what you are doing, don't waste your time painting. You have to fall in love with yourself and the process. And suddenly, an idea strikes. If we put some darks on these spots, we can make these cars pop. As you can see, I'm mixing some white gouache with lavender to paint some of those low signs, which really brings the background back to life. I have so much to tell you guys, so much to give as an artist. Where do I find my inspiration? Where do I get my references from? What do I face being an artist? And many more. So few tweaks here and there and we are done with this piece. Your feedbacks are very precious for me, so keep them coming. I promise I'll bring to you detailed videos on perspective, composition, color, figures and many other different subjects, so stay tuned. By the way, which one looks better? This? This? No, this one, or I think this one looks more cleaner and this one is a little more refined. Let's take a closer look. Okay, I'm done for the day. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have enjoyed the show and hope you have learned something out of it. I'll see you in the next one.